What's up, you guys? Marty Schwartz here from GuitarJams.com. Hope you guys are doing well. Going to break down a progression, you know, like a childhood progression for me, uh, one of my favorite groups. Uh, I'm going to show it to you. We'll zoom in and all that. Um, let's see. Also, I've got, you know, GuitarJams.com. Lots of different lessons on there. A uh, link for the site right down there. I really appreciate all that support. Plus, you know, like Facebook, Instagram, all that. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, but let's zoom in and do this one right now. Here we go. All right, so we got a piano song here translated for guitar, so I'm trying to make it, you know, semi-easy or as easy as we can do it on guitar, like if you wanted to play it uh, solo on acoustic. Uh, okay, so we're going to start with the F chord. There we go. See you guys later. No, <laughs> so we got an F chord. Then we're going to do A minor 7. So you got the bass notes, F. A. Then we're going to go to a D minor. But actually what sounds pretty cool is D minor 7. So if you wanted to do that, you can do either one. But if you want to do that, it's a little jazzier sounding. And it's just like a first fret, first fret, second fret, open D. So you got she's a Okay, here it is without me doing duty -doo doos. And so then I'm going to a C note. So you could play, keep that shape, and then hit the C note in there. Or if you want to be less fancy, you could play a C chord. It's just when you're doing those little slash kind of chords, not slash to the guitar player, but like bass lines moving over chords. Then it sounds pretty cool, and that's a big part of like that piano thing. So you got F, A minor 7, D minor 7, C note. Now we need B flat major. Probably the hardest bar chord. Some people, if they struggle with that, they can play this. But it's the first fret, third fret, third fret, third fret. If you had to do the cheater, it'd be one, three, three, just like a super power chord. Okay, here it is from the top. F, F, A minor, seven, D minor, seven, then a C, B flat major. And here's more of those passing bass notes. I like this. B flat major. Then with the open A in there. So then with the G in there. And so that's a G minor seven. And I'm just holding that. F, A minor 7, D minor 7, then the C note, B flat major, then the open A. Now if that was kind of tricky for you, or that just feels weird, you can play A minor 7 again. But I kind of like that, keeping the same chord with the bass notes moving. Big piano thing. F. A minor 7, D minor 7, then the C note, B flat, open A, G minor 7, and then finally a C, but I'm still keeping that little cluster there, and then you have this, which would be called uh, B flat slash C. In other words, one finger across the third fret, starting on the A string. So that's that's it. time without the uh... 
don't you know? <laughs> so it just, uh, you know, after you go through that uh, two times, I believe, it does a da 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 on the F note right here, which is the third fret of the D string. B flat major seven. G minus seven. So B flat major seven is six fret, seven fret, seven with the pinky, and then six fret again on the B with the middle finger. The rest of the strings are muted by my index finger, so I've got that. And then a little. the fifth fret A, I'm playing an A minor seven passing by, which is five and then five. Seven C major. Da, da, da. There's a little, yeah, little hits. Want, want to do the hits? B flat major, C major, which you just scoot it up to D minor seven. Second time, yeah. right to the chorus. something from that uh, thanks for hanging out and I hope to see you again real soon thanks for checking out all those links bye for now <laughs>